Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am here with a new series in which you will get many interesting LWC scenarios. This is the first video of this series, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. In today's scenario, we are going to work on client side sorting in lighting data table. Let's go to VS Code, let's create our component, let's say client sorting CMP. Now in this requirement, our first task is to create our lightning data table in which we will show opportunity data. So let's go to developer guide, copy this code for lightning data table and paste it here. Here we have three properties, key field, data and columns. Basically data property holds the actual records that you want to display in your table. So what we will do, we will fetch all opportunity records in Apex using Sokal. We will store those records in a list, then we will return that list and at last we will use it in our data table. So first let's create an apex class. Let's name it sorting controller. Let's create our method public static return type will be list of opportunity. Let's name it fetch data. Let's create a list. Let's say OPP list. And in this list, let's fetch all opportunity records whose amount is not null. Select ID, name, amount from opportunity, where amount is not null and finally return it. Now I see as of now we cannot use this method in our LWC component because it is not visible yet. So to make it available for lightning web component what we will do we will use at the rate aura enabled annotation like this at the rate aura enabled save it and deploy it to work. Now our apex method is available to use in LWC component, but still we cannot call it directly in our JS code. For that, first we have to import it in our component like this. Import fetch data from at the rate Salesforce apex copy our class name paste it here dot copy our method name and paste it here. Now in next step, we will use wire decorator to call our apex method to get the opportunity data in our JS code. And similarly like this, if we want to use wire decorator in our code, we have to import it first. So let's import it like this and let's call our apex method at the rate wire fetch data, wire data, so guys this is basically a wired function with parameter error and data. Here this error parameter is used to hold the information about any error that might have occurred during the data retrieval operation. Suppose if there is an issue then it will be captured in this error parameter and this data parameter is used to hold the actual data. Now inside this wired function, we will use if else condition like this. If data else if error. This if condition checks that if there is some data retrieved from the apex method and if data is not retrieved, then this condition will check for errors. So let's use console.log to check that whether we are receiving data or error. Console.log data We will use json.stringify to see the output. Console.log error. Save the component code and deploy it to work. Okay, it is successfully deployed. 
Now to test our component or to see the output, what we will do? We will create a lightning application and we will put our component in it. Go to files, new lightning application. Let's say test tab. And here we will put our component. What's the name? Client sorting CMP. Stands course SLDS. Save it and let's preview it. Let's inspect the page. Go to console. So as you can see that an error is coming while retrieving the data. What's the error message? Error because okay. So this error message is coming because we are using wire decorated to call our apex method and we are not using cacheable equals to true here. So guys, if you are using wire decorated to call apex method, then you have to use this cacheable equals to true. Save it and deploy it again. Deploy this component also. Refresh this page. So as you can see that now we are getting data. Now to store the coming data, we will create a variable like this. And we will put this data in it. So here, remove this line and put this data in our variable. And we are passing this variable in the data property of lighting data table. So now we have the data, but we also need to specify how this table looks and what information it displays. So for that, we will use column property. Let's create an array of objects for each column like this. Guys, it's like specifying the headings of the table and how each column corresponds to a piece of data. Each column has a label. Label is something what you see as the column header of table. So let's give a label. ID. We also need to provide a field name which tells the table that which data to be displayed in that particular column. So let's give field name also. We also need to specify the type like this. So our first column is ID. Similarly, let's create more columns for name and amount also. Copy this, paste it here. Name, field name, type will be text. Copy this again, paste it here. Amount, type will be number. Save it and deploy it to work. Okay, we are getting error. Cons modifier, cons modifier can only be used in types. Files. Okay, 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 I got it. See, if we are using constant modifier, then we need to use it before this export line. Now this key field property is left. So a key field property specify the unique identifier for the data in table. This identifier is important for optimizing the rendering and updating of table, particularly when data is added, removed or updated dynamically. In our code, the key field is set to ID, which indicates that the ID field of each record in data will be used as identifier for the rows in table. Let's save this component and deploy it. Let's refresh this page. Okay, data is not coming. Okay, got it. We need to create a variable for this. And we need to put this column in this variable. Save it and deploy it to work again. It is successfully deployed. Refresh this page again. So as you can see that still here we have completed our first step, which is to show the data in lighting data table. Now in our next step, 
we will apply sorting on each column in this data table. For that, we have a column property sortable, which is of Boolean data type, which specifies that whether the column can be sorted or not. So here we will set that sortable property value to true. Like this. Sortable true. Copy this, paste it here, and here also. So by doing this, we have allowed sorting for each column. Now we have to add some more things in this lightning data table. First is sorted by. So it is like a label which tells the table which column is currently sorted. For example, if you click on name column to sort the names, then name will be stored in this sorted by. Basically, it remembers which columns you click to sort. And in this property, we will pass a variable sorted by like this. Sorted by. Copy this and let's create a variable in our JS code. After that, we have to use sorted direction. So it tells the table whether the sorting is in ascending order or descending order. We will create another variable for this sorted direction. Copy this, paste it here. Here by using these two properties, we are keeping track of user sorting preference. Now what we will do, we will create a function that will be triggered when a user interacts with the column header to sort the table. So let's create a function here. Let's say handle sort and we will call it on on sort event like this. on sort paste it here but before we write anything inside this function let's create another function which will handle the sorting logic let's say sort data and this function will take two parameters field and direction so field parameter specify the field on which data should be sorted and direction parameter specify the order of sorting, either in ascending order or descending order. Now inside this function, we will create a variable in which we will store the existing data like this. Let sort result restore data. This is to ensure that the original data remains unchanged when performing the sorting operation. Now we will use sort function to sort the data present in this sort result variable like this copy this name paste it here dot sort let's create two variables value a and value b here we have created two variables value a in which property value for the first item present in this array will be stored and value b in which property value for the second item will be stored. Let's understand it with an example. Imagine we have an array of object representing people and we want to sort that array based on their ages. So the field which we are passing here would be age. So this value a variable will get the age of first person and this value b will get the age of second person. Now there is one more important thing which is if the values are strings then we will make them lowercase to ignore capitalization during comparison like this. If type of value a equals to a string and type of value b is also a string. Then we will simply make them lowercase like this. And now we will decide which item should come first based on values like this. If value a 
is greater than value B. Return. Direction is ascending. Then it will return 1. Else if value B is greater. Copy this line, paste it here, and then it will return minus 1. Else it will return 1. And if both are same, then it will return 0. Now let's understand this logic. Basically, sort function in JavaScript expects a comparison function that returns a negative number, 0, or positive number based on the comparison of two elements. See, when the comparison function returns a negative number, such as minus 1, it tells the sort function that the first element should be placed before the second element in the sorted order. And if it returns a number such as 1, then it tells the sort function that the first element should be placed after the second element. And if it returns 0, then the order of element remains unchanged. Similarly here, if value a is greater than value b and direction is ascending, then it will return 1, means value a will be placed after the second element value b. Else, if value b is greater and the direction is ascending, then it will return minus 1, means first element should be placed before the second element. Otherwise, if values are equal, then it will return 0. And finally, we will put the sorted result in this data. So, copy it. This dot data equals to sort result. So, we have the function which will do the sorting part. Now we just need to call this function on this handle sort and we also need to pass values in it. For that we will use the structuring assignment. Basically it's a way to extract specific pieces of information from an object or an array like this. Constant field name sort direction event dot detail here event is an object and it has a property called detail which is an object itself and we want to extract two properties from detail object field name and sort direction basically we are saying that look inside the event dot detail object if you find a property name field name assign its value to variable field name and if you find a property name sort direction then assign its value to variable sort direction and after that what we will do we will put those values in the variable that we have created for user sorting preference like this. Copy this variable. Paste it here. Field name. Copy this variable. Paste it here. Sort direction. And finally we will call this sort data function like this this dot sort data and pass values in it field name sort direction so we have our code ready it's time to see it in action let's deploy it it is successfully deployed refresh this page again Let's click on this column, amount, okay, let me remove this part, let's deploy it, refresh this page again, now we can see all data, so let's test the sorting. So as you can see that the data is getting sorted successfully. That's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting LWC scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.